Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more concept in operating systems that is a deadlock recovery. So in our previous session, we have seen the deadlock detection and deadlock detection means once the deadlock occurs, so we will be using a different approaches like wait for graph or resource allocation graph as well as banker's algorithm in order to detect or uh, clarify that whether the state is in a safe state or unsafe state. So here the safe state means there is no deadlock, unsafe state means there is a deadlock. So now the next concept, the today's session is with a deadlock recovery. That means once the deadlock is detected, right? So then what we have to do to avoid the deadlock situation, to overcome with the deadlock situation. So without delay, we'll start the session. deadlock recovery so the first point is so this recovery will be after deadlock has been detected after deadlock has been detected how we will bring it to safe state safe state means so avoiding the deadlock okay so this deadlock recovery can be done in two procedures okay so this deadlock recovery i'll write here deadlock recovery so this can be done in two ways so the first one is process termination so just terminating the process so we know that the processes will be waiting for the resources which are already allocated by another process and by killing those process we can avoid the deadlock one more thing resource preemption resource preemption that means so forcibly we will be deallocating the resources from one process and we are allocating the same resources for the required process to complete its execution so in such a way also we can get out from the unsafe state so here the process termination so this can be done in two ways so here the process termination just now as i said that wherever the process yields to the deadlock that process will be terminated so here the two possibilities about all processes so simply without any question all the processes will be get removed okay killed the process will be killed that means terminated so obviously there will be no deadlocks the first thing all the processes whatever the processes are available we have to delete all the processes so here there is a drawback because if for example if our pro is i mean if there are four processes so let, let it be p1 p2 p3 and p4 so p1 completes around 10% okay p2 completes some 60 percent p3 completes 95 percent p4 completes 98 percent so if there are four processes and p1 completed 10 percent it, it have to complete 90 percent okay and p2 requires 30 percent of the work to be done right and p3 only five percent of work will be done right and p4 98 so if you go with this one about all processes every process will be terminated we have to kill all the processes so whatever the process completed that means 90 percent of the work has been done for the p4 that have to restart from the beginning okay so this is a 
expensive we will call such type of situation as a expensive so whatever the process which which completes a maximum work must also start from the beginning so this is the drawback and the second uh, method is second approach is about one process and detect using banker's algorithm okay so here what we are doing so we are just killing one process and again we are checking with the banker's algorithm whether after killing the process whether there is a deadlock or not deadlock that means a safe state or unsafe state so if it is unsafe state again one more process will be get deleted and again we have to check the banker's algorithm we need to detect the deadlock with the banker's algorithm so that we will be getting as whether uh, the situation is in safe or unsafe so if it is still unsafe one more pro process will be deleted and again we have to check that that here the drawback is every time the banker's algorithm will be keep on executing okay multiple times until there is no deadlock we need to implement the banker's algorithm for example imagine there are 100 processes so if there is a deadlock okay so we have to repeatedly we have to execute this banker's algorithm in order to detect the deadlock situation multiple times so there will be a overhead problem there will be a overhead problem i'll write here overhead problem this is a drawback okay so here how to select the process so which process is to be get deleted that that will be based upon the process priority or the number of resources allocated for that process or how how far it has been completed its execution so these are the different ways to select the process okay process priority number of resources that are allocated for that process and how far the process completes its execution so similar way okay so based upon all those constraints we are supposed to select the process and we have to kill the process and after killing the process we have to use a banker's algorithm to detect whether the say the situation is safe or unsafe so these are the two ways we can avoid the deadlock from the process termination coming to the second one that is a process preemption preemption means releasing the resources forcibly releasing the resources allocating the same resources to another re process which requires those resources and let the other process complete its execution so that the deadlock can be recovered okay so here the problems arise here so one problem is selection so which process is to be get selected here also the same problem which problem which process should be selected and the second one rollback so as i said that we are forcibly removing the resources that are allocated to the process so once we are uh, deallocating the resources we have to start from the beginning by, by allocating the resources to the process whether that happens or not that is a rollback rollback okay again the process how to start its execution from the beginning so that is a rollback and the third problem arises here is starvation so starvation means if every time we are selecting the same process okay for deallocating the resources and that process takes a lot of time to complete its execution because again it have to start and after some time the same process may be selected to deallocate the resources and after deallocating again the process have to wait until the resources have been allocated to that process so these are the problems arised in this resource preemption 
okay preemption means forcibly deallocating de the resources so these are the two different ways these are the two different ways how we can recover the deadlock that means how can we avoid the deadlock how can we make the unsafe state to safe state okay so hope you understood this one and uh, uh, if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much